What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to the Hybrid Network, and we're coming at you today with some new details that were revealed at the Blade Runner panel hosted in Hall H today as part of Warner Brothers Showcase. And can I just say right off the bat, having been there, that the movie looked absolutely incredible visually. It truly was stunning to see the amount of work put into this feature based on what we've seen. But that's not what we're here today for. No, we're here because they introduced a new timeline for the film, detailing the events between Deckard and Rachel's escape at the end of the original in 2019, and the world as it stands 30 years later in 2049. There's a lot to go over here, so why don't we go ahead and get started. We'll skip over 2019 and head straight on into what happened after Deckard made his escape, leading us into 2020, where a new model of replicants are being pushed out by the Tyrell Corporation, Nexus 8 models, differing from previous models in that their lifespans are longer than before. The exact number is still a question, but one can assume it's open-ended, like a human being. Afterwards, we cut forward two years later to what's described as the Blackout, where a large EMP detonates over the West Coast, destroying all manners of electronic data, ruining the finance and trade markets, and leading to a dire food shortage worldwide. The exact origin on the blackout remaining a mystery, but many individuals put the blame on replicants. Most likely over the course of numerous cataclysmic events all stemming from the blackout, a replicant prohibition has been passed in 2023, which calls for an indefinite ban on replicant production. All current Nexus 6 models are decommissioned, while numerous Nexus 8 models that manage to survive this go into hiding, as seen in the trailer with Dave Bautista's character. Fast forward another two years to 2025, Nyander Wallace manages to solve the food crisis by leading a scientific advancement into genetically modified food, sharing this worldwide and expanding into the off-world colonies themselves. In the year 2028, Wallace manages to acquire the Tyrell Corporation and begins to improve on previous replicant formation over the next eight years, before the replicant prohibition is repealed in 2036, allowing Wallace to release a new model onto the market, one with a more streamlined memory implantation and obedience factor, the Nexus 9. As we fast forward a wide 13 year margin, the state of the world is quite dire to say the least. Wallace's genetically engineered food has become the only means of sustenance in the world, available only via vending machines, and poverty and sickness run rampant among the inhabitants of Los Angeles. Most striking of all, the population of Earth is now separated into two distinct classes, human and replicants. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for tuning in, and stick with us as more news comes out of San Diego Comic Con 2017.